What's going on guys? We're going to be watching Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct of 2-20-2020. I'm very excited for Animal Crossing finally coming out to the Nintendo Switch. I played it when it was on Nintendo GameCube on the DS, 3DS. Had it on the Wii, didn't really play it that much. And now it's finally here guys. I'm so excited. I will be live streaming this game as much Thank as I can. So hopefully you guys the enjoy Nooking it. Deserted Island Getaway Package. This is one trip that we here at Nook Inc. can recommend with confidence. Your destination is a peaceful island where it's the little things that count. I like the way they added the wood there. It looks like the graphics look a little bit better. Designing your home. And simply enjoying life. And for always be in debt with Nook. Since we're nearing departure, it's high time we detail the many features and perks included in the getaway package. Nuke Inc. presents. So, back in the day I was playing, what is it, 480p? Upon arrival at the local airport, you'll be met with a deserted island positively teeming with nature's bounty. Check that out. You gotta get the net to catch that. When applying for the getaway package, you can choose the island you wish to move to from a wide range of options. Would you like to live in the Northern Hemisphere or yes. the Southern Hemisphere? Northern Hemisphere? Where's the Northern Hemisphere? Don't worry. Team? No matter which you choose, you'll okay, experience so that's very typical all that the four of, uh, seasons have to offer Animal right Crossing. from your island. Your departure date is scheduled for March 20th. March That's 20th, when the guys. Northern Hemisphere will just be warming up for spring. You won't have to wait long for the cherry blossoms to be in full cherry bloom. Cherry blossoms? Look at they got all kinds of... Oh, those things are annoying. Time brings its own share of delights. You'll see a wealth of lush greenery, not to mention a veritable treasure trove of bugs Those native to the island. And you guys, Come autumn, the, the color the of the leaves on the trees will gradually change, and so too will the activities available to you, from collecting seeds and mushrooms to gathering autumn leaves. And in winter, the island transforms into a chilly snowscape. The usual winter activities are Ooh, a I used to do. Good I used time. to love making snowmen. And Forgot about all that. Above is particularly spectacular this time of year. As you can see, when the seasons change, the wow, you can pick up flowers now. You change along with them. But the simple joys of nature are just one reason that the island is such a great setting for your new life. I actually have two Animal Crossing amiibos, so hopefully Not we can long use them. After your arrival, you and your fellow residents will receive an orientation session from the Nooking staff. Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. At this time, you'll be provided with a tent included in your getaway a package. A tent? I want a house. You can chat with other residents about where you want to set up your new home base. And there's. If they're not sure where to move, please help them find the perfect place for their new lives as well. Hopefully, That's pretty cool. You can put all your that cooperation between residents can be pretty fun. Although you're moving your to a deserted villagers. island, you're still getting a package deal. On the island, we've included two facilities to make your life there more comfortable. Visit this tent in the plaza to access Residence Services, which is here to support all of your daily needs. It's open 24 hours a day, providing residents with services I guess that's such as like, uh, the sale of everyday goods, Nuke's uh, shop, the purchase of unwanted items, bump of weeds. Sure, what? We can sell weeds. About living on a deserted island. That's pretty cool. And by attending our free DIY workshops, you learn how to craft a variety of items. DIY workbench. First, just learn the DIY recipe. Oh, okay. Then, choose what to make. And there you have it. It's ready. 
As you can see, with enough recipes and the right oh, materials, heck yeah. you can build a plethora of wonderful things, even on a deserted island. I remember I used to dig you three little holes your with your and then hit the hands. stones so I could get all the bills from there. Are you experienced with DIY crafting? Every day I would do that. Well then, stop by our customization workshop where you can learn skills like changing Man, the they color really of let you customize stuff now or decorating them with your own custom designs yeah there's definitely gonna be some great artists out there that are gonna make some crazy the stuff and furniture you need by you like Mario themes so Zelda on the All kinds of stuff. Island. it's our wish that you learn these DIY skills by taking advantage of our workshops Ooh, can we p visit other people's areas airport maybe Welcome to the airport, where you'll first land on the island. It's also available for use year-round, 24 hours a day, beginning the day after your arrival. At the airport, you can use the internet or local wireless to invite residents of other islands to yours. Nice, so you guys can come visit me, and I can go visit your place. In this way, up, up to eight players, people, including you, can be on a given island at one time. Feel free to get a good group together and make some memories. The airport is good for more than trips through the sky. It also offers an in-game postal service, allowing you to send messages. Feel free to use this service to interact with There's other like residents. Okay, so on like Animal Crossing on the GameCube, I would have to like write messages to other people and I would just like write whatever <laughs> and then send it in and they would be like, oh, thank you for writing to me. I don't know. I just thought that was funny. Will this be your first time living somewhere so remote on a deserted island, no less? Don't worry. Possibly. Here are three big ways we plan to support you in acquainting yourself with your new surroundings. Special service number one. Is that starting a new life? So, in addition to your tent, Nook Inc. will provide some basic necessities as well as services. No need to worry. Typical radio. Amber. Hot. Of these, the true standout is your specially built Nook phone. It has the standard apps like a camera and map. But over time, we will provide new I guess that's the new menu. to support all your deserted island needs. At the start of each day, our CEO, Mr. Nook, will make an island-wide broadcast to all residents, complete with a greeting, the latest on important island events, deserted island life advice, and more. Hope they're sure, because I don't want to be listening to that every day. Since this is likely your first time on a deserted Shh. island, we're offering guidance and inspiration through the Nook Mileage Program. They're great for when you're looking to rewards? participate in some activities and you're in need of some recommendations. Why would we need files? And as you have these experiences, you'll build up. Okay, so my goal like is to so. catch all the fish, all the bugs. Get all the dinosaur bones. The miles you save we're gonna do it live, guys. To pay off the cost of the getaway package, and they can eventually be exchanged for in-game rewards at the Nook Stop Terminal in Residence Services. Rewards range from in-game Nook Inc. merchandise to helpful items that can enrich your time on the island. It's a trap! Don't step on it! To get the most out of every day, Limbs. try collecting miles. Okay, did you guys see that flimsy shovel? That means we're going to be able to upgrade? Maybe? I know you used to get the golden shovel by burying it. Using the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Inc. is here for you, but remember, the island is very much deserted. Yeah, but... And so, we'd like to take this opportunity to talk about some possible hitches you might encounter and their solutions. This is one nature... Definitely the graphics have improved a lot. I need to go back and play on the on the GameCube. Because all the, the details here on the tree just amazing. All the flowers. 
Look at all them chickens. <laughs> all right, here we go. Rich Island. It's possible nice that butterfly you could encounter there. dangerous insects such as wasps or scorpions. Scorpion. I don't remember if seeing scorpions. Stung, you may end up somewhat irritated. Or worse. Should you come across one you don't think you can catch, try not to push your luck and consider retreat. Symptoms can be cured with medicine available at resident services. And we recommend keeping some on you, just in case. Nighttime on the island can get a little dark. You're on your own, and you never know what creatures might be lurking out there. Those are some cool lights, guys. Be careful when taking a late night stroll. The getaway package promises a, a little adventure. So if you think about it, this is actually a plus. Your deserted island is surrounded by the sea, which means you may come across a castaway from time to time. Luckily, rescue is simple. First, give them a holler to make sure they're doing okay. <laughs> then keep them company until they wake up. Please offer all the support you can. They're relying on you to make it home. Although your Nook phone has a map application, it's theoretically possible you could get lost or find yourself unable to move I don't think forward. I'll get lost. In situations like these, it's best not to panic. Instead, simply use the rescue service. You'll be transported somewhere cozier in no time. Okay, now that is actually kind of cool. I don't think you would get lost in the island. It's just maybe you're at the top of the island and you want to go back home. That's a cool fast travel. Now notice here they have this fish, this uh, little aquarium. I think that's cool. So I think we will be getting different types of swords. I mean, uh, shovels, not swords, because this one's made out of wood. Assuming there's got to be an iron one and then probably a gold one, maybe a silver one, diamond. Given the services we've introduced so far, there should be plenty to enjoy on the island already. But if you want your in-game life to be even more comfortable, we will offer a number of optional extras. Optional extra Does number the environment one. seem a bit rough? Do you need a little more space for all your stuff? If you said yes to either of these questions, then we have yes. an option for you. A house. Building a house. The loan has no deadline, no interest, and no assessment, and there's no need to- 98,000, no interest. So that's that's a plus, guys. We don't get interest. ...to worry about applying for one. You can pay it back at your own pace. A house offers so much more space than the tent you'll start with, and also has its own storage spaces capable of holding any furniture and baggage you're not displaying. That way, everything's nice and tidy. You get to be your very own interior designer, setting up the walls and flooring however you like. Really get the most out of living there. Yeah, that's more what I'm used to right there. You to change patterns at any time. As you can see here, we do some of the heavy lifting, freeing you up to focus on redecorating. While Actually, that's a really a cool... Wow, you can place all kinds of things on the walls. If you own a house, we can also offer you additional extension and remodeling Get services. Get the two-story with the basement. Whatever your situation, we have appropriate plans available. So please don't hesitate to ask us about them. Optional. I don't understand why they call them optional Your extras. Can be exchanged for in-game rewards, including Nook Lyle's tickets. These can be used to travel to distant islands. The destination of these tours differs each time, and depends on how the pilot is feeling. They're <laughs> mystery tours, so to speak. These far-off destinations are small deserted islands full of trees and flowers. Okay, so that's kind of cool. It's kind of on the original GameCube one. You had to connect your uh, what was it? Game Boy Advance with the link cable and you were able to go to an island and get like half peaches here. 
because your island only has like let's say apples or oranges and then you go around and collect all these different ones and these you can sell for more bells which is the in-game currency Hours. FYI. Of course, you can take many items back home with you, whether it's yeah. DIY materials or creatures. It's a nice change of atmosphere, and you may experience some unexpected encounters. We're certain Bamboo. these tours will prove to be one of our most popular services. Wait a minute, did they just jump across the water there? I gotta, we gotta go back and see that, guys. Repeat customers. Uh. We're certain these tours will prove to be one of our most popular services, leading to wow. many repeat customers. Why not? <laughs> Tarantulas after. You can jump without a stick. What the heck? With our package plan, up to eight people can live on one island. I think it used to be four people on the GameCube. One optional extra provided only to those islands with multiple residents is called Party Play. With this way to play, you can call up other residents who live on the same island as you, allowing up to four residents to enjoy exploring the island together. Ooh, cool, using Joy-Con controllers. Four Whoever people can play at the same time. The leader, nice. Making the others the followers. Oh, that's kind of cool. They can follow the leader around. That way, everyone can spend time together. As you can Maybe see, Oliver will play with me. Change out the assigned leader. That way, followers can quickly take turns doing what they want to do, even if it's just a little shopping. Creatures or other items found by followers will be stored in a recycle box at the Residence Services building. Please make sure to stop by and pick them up later. Honeybee. A fossil. We are developing a web service within the Nintendo Switch online app for real-world smart devices. It's called Nook Link. As an example, we download the it right now. See if it's available. Scan QR code patterns of custom designs. With such a tool, you can use your smartphone's camera I doubt it's already to scan the QR codes of custom designs created in the Animal Crossing New Leaf or Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer games, and then download them via Nook Link. When connected online, I guess I'm gonna have to download Animal Crossing Animal Pocket Crossing again. New Horizons and the Nintendo Switch online smartphone app using your smartphone as a keyboard or for voice chat. Yeah, we're probably gonna use Discord for voice chat, guys. Is planned to launch in March of 2020. Okay, March 2020. Departure included in your deserted island getaway package. We hope it will enhance your experience on the island. Roll part two. Okay, what's part two? Deserted islands With development. The package, you'll Additional really residents. Deserted island bang for your buck, especially with only a couple of neighbors for company at the start. But our hope is to eventually invite more residents and develop the island into a bustling community. For this reason, we're planning to invite more animal residents to come live here. That said, we don't want you to feel like we're inviting others into your space carelessly. As such, we've secured this land in advance. And in some cases, you may be able to invite some residents yourself. But we won't stop there. We're also planning to build additional facilities on the island. Cable Sisters. The what? include a museum showcasing the rich ecosystem on the Now island. that's oh wow that we gotta stop that guys. Wow that is awesome. Examples include a museum showcasing the rich ecosystem on the island. This has got to be one of my favorite parts. Um, collecting all the fish. The aquarium here is huge compared to the previous games. 
and it kind of reminds me of Donkey Kong. So I'm excited for this. This is like my favorite part. The aquarium and Island. the dinosaurs. There we go. A shop full wow. of made furniture and goods you can't craft yourself. A tailor offering clothing and fashion items. And a campsite where you can invite guests for recreational purposes. We're hoping Look to at enrich that. our residents' lives and foster a sophisticated culture on the island by gradually adding shops and facilities with a little help from some connections our CEO made in the past. Residence Services Center is only a simple tent now, but we plan to eventually expand this tent into a proper building. We will also continue to expand our housing business, which is one of the main departments of Nook Inc. We can and will offer to expand or remodel your house while providing moving services for your house or local facilities. Also, That may visible. For remodeling, we'll lean on staff experienced in providing operational support. That way, we can offer the utmost in services and advice regarding the overall environment of your island. We're hoping to accept not only new residents, but also any guests who are tentatively paying a visit to the island. First of all, tourists are always welcome. In these cultural exchanges, we can show visitors what makes our island so special, while simultaneously learning about customs we aren't familiar with. We're actively accepting any traveling merchants who can offer up items that cannot be crafted on the island. Eventually, we will host a variety of events for you to take part in, such as fishing tourneys and bug offs at the plaza cool. in front of residence services. Through free updates, we plan to introduce special events with seasonal guests and more. We hope you'll continue to enjoy our services. All right, so I like We're the updates. Sure you'll agree that starting over on a deserted island is already an attractive proposition. But here at Nook Inc., we really want our residents to create a one-of-a-kind island that they're proud to call their home. To help you develop such a place and realize a ladder now. Well, vision, that's we actually really cool. Offer you a range of additional services. I used to like hate when I would have to go all the way around and try to go over because there's only like one or two options to go to the next area because there was a cliff in the way so that's actually really cool these include ways to help you and your fellow residents get from point a to point b that's pretty expensive By building bridges and slopes you'll be able to comfortably walk around the island without relying on handmade tools like wow that's awesome and ladders once the island is fully decked out, we will provide you with a permit. You can use it to freely pave your own paths. In addition, we can also provide you with a permit that allows you to undergo water construction in the terrain itself. Oh. Including rivers and cliffs. Wow. Kind of reminds me now of like Minecraft and Animal With Crossing your just own collided. Structure maintenance and construction permits, you can flex your creative muscle across the island. Make the most of them to make your island your dream home. Yeah, so it looks like you can customize a lot more now, so. As you've seen today, the Deserted Island Getaway Package offers you a wild new life surrounded by nature, just as its name suggests. Or you can lead a comfortable life in a perfectly planned community.
The choice is yours. Oh, a curry hamster. What kind of life do you want to live? The deserted island getaway package presented by Nook Inn. Wow. Your departure is on track for March 20th of 2020. We're looking forward to meeting you all on the island. Well, that's actually more than what I was expecting. I guess it was worth the wait. Uh, let's see what else they... Uh oh the switch system in the game up to eight people in your family can live on one shared island the maximum number of residents for an island is eight each user can register one resident and each resident can of course build their own house oh I think yes the amiibo support amiibo nice. figures Amiibo cards from the Animal Crossing series. Although I have, actually I have three Amiibos, but I don't want to open one of them. So... I bet the Amiibos you are going to go up on price these now. familiar faces to Photopia, an island that exists someplace out there where you can place models and creative photo shoots. Acting with your closest friends. What if I lose my save data? Animal Crossing New Horizons cloud does not support the save oh. data cloud feature. However, we're planning to offer a service for recovering backed up save data from the server in certain oh, okay. circumstances, such as console damage or loss. Will there be a special theme system to go along with the game? Yes. A special edition Animal Crossing theme system. I don't think I like the colors though. They look very minty. Before the game launches, a separate matching carrying case will be available the same day. Nook Inc. supervised the console design for your playing pleasure. Although the back here, I do like it. That looks pretty cool. So. Update on launch date, guys. That is pretty much the whole game, I guess. Uh, what they're day showing us. With a special event in April. Uh, I already pre-ordered the game, we're planning to roll so out I'll pick it up the same day it launches. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and Animal Crossing New Horizons, through which players can receive special items in each. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about Pocket. I'd rather play on the Switch, PS4. But yeah, guys, I will be picking this up. I'll be doing some live streams and maybe I'll do some tutorials on how to gain some money fast so we can pay off that house. And yeah, pretty excited. That is going to be my next Nintendo Switch game and we'll be doing some live streaming of that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's my first reaction video, which is you watching me watch this same time. We're hanging out, maybe. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next uh, video. Yeah.